Thank you for joining us for our reflection on a lesson from the Daily Office Lectionary. My name is Maureen Demler and I serve as deacon at St. George's Episcopal Church in Clifton Park, New York. Today is Wednesday in the 16th week after Pentecost. Let us pray. O oh God, you declare your almighty power chiefly in showing mercy and pity. Grant us the fullness of your grace, that we, running to obtain your promises, may become partakers of your heavenly treasure. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Our lesson comes from the Acts of the Apostles, the 21st chapter, beginning at the 15th verse. After these days, we got ready and started to go up to Jerusalem. Some of the disciples from Caesarea also came along and brought us to the house of Nason of Cyprus, an early disciple with whom we were to stay. When we arrived in Jerusalem, the brothers welcomed us warmly. The next day, Paul went with us to visit James, and all the elders were present. After greeting them, he related one by one the things that God had done among the Gentiles through his ministry. When they heard it, they praised God. Then they said to him, you see, brother, how many thousands of believers there are among the Jews, and they are all zealous for the law. They have been told about you that you teach all the Jews living among the Gentiles to forsake Moses and that you tell them not to circumcise their children or observe the customs. What then is to be done? they will certainly hear that you have come. So do what we tell you. We have four men who are under a vow. Join these men, go through the rite of purification with them, and pay for the shaving of their heads. Thus all will know that there is nothing in what they have been told about you, but that you yourself observe and guard the law. But as for the Gentiles who have become believers, we have sent a letter with our judgment that they should abstain from what has been sacrificed to idols and from blood and from what is strangled and from fornication. Then Paul took the men and the next day, having purified himself, he entered the temple with them, making public the completion of the days of purification when the sacrifice would be made for each of them. Here ends the lesson. The Jerusalem Council, which we heard about three weeks ago in chapter 15, had settled the issue of circumcision of Gentile believers. Evidently, rumor said that Paul had gone far beyond their decision, even forbidding Jews to circumcise their children. This was not true. So Paul willingly submitted to Jewish custom to show that he was not working against the council's decision and that he was still Jewish in his lifestyle. Sometimes we must go the extra mile to avoid offending others, especially when doing so would hinder God's work. Four men had made a religious vow. Because Paul was going to participate with them in the vow, apparently he had been asked to pay for some of the required expenses, he would need to take part in the purification ceremony for entering the temple. Paul submitted himself to this Jewish custom to keep peace in the Jerusalem church. Although Paul was a man of strong convictions, he was willing to compromise on non-essential points, becoming all things to all people so that he might save some, as he wrote in his first letter to the Corinthians. 
Often, churches split over disagreements about minor issues or traditions. Like Paul, we should remain firm on Christian essentials, but flexible on non-essentials. No one should violate his or her true convictions, but sometimes we need to exercise mutual submission for the sake of the gospel. The Jewish laws can be thought of in two ways. Paul rejected one way and accepted the other. Paul rejected the idea that the Old Testament law brings salvation to those who keep them. Salvation is freely given by God's gracious act. We receive salvation through faith. The laws are of no value for salvation except to show us our sin. Paul accepted the view that the Old Testament law prepared for and teach about the coming of Jesus Christ. Christ fulfilled the law and released us from its burden of guilt. But the law still teaches many valuable principles and provides guidelines for graceful living. Paul was not observing the laws in order to be saved. He was simply keeping the laws as custom to avoid offending those he wished to reach with the gospel. Let us pray. O oh God, you made us in your own image and redeemed us through Jesus your Son. Look with compassion on the whole human family. Take away the arrogance and hatred which infect our hearts. Break down the walls that separate us. Unite us in bonds of love and work through our struggle and confusion to accomplish your purposes on earth. That in your good time, all nations and races may serve you in harmony around your heavenly throne. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank you for joining us. Join us every weekday for our reflection. If you live in the Clifton Park area, join us for worship at 4.30 on Saturdays or 8 or 9.30 on Sunday mornings. If you are unable to join us in person, join us virtually through our YouTube channel. Our webpage provides recordings and details about all of our offerings. Mm -hmm.